Good morning. It's early. It's just after six. Sun's coming up. I can see a bit of blue sky. And I'm here at Lacor. And I'm here at Lacor when at the moment it's not too windy and there are not too many midges. And even better, my mate Doug Nuss is here with me. So we're going to go out and going to do some fishing. Probably do some drop shot fishing and maybe see if we can get another one of those ferrox. So we'll see if we can do that later on today. Just see how it goes. If we enjoy catching a few perch or something on drop shot, we'll probably stick with that. So as you can see behind me, I got real time in the water, ready to fire the engine up and uh, off we go. Looking forward to it. Actually, I lied about the midges, they found me. <laughs> I'll get my midge net on in a bit. Hope it stays like this all day, It'd be really good. Some nice slow drifts, I think. We've got Douglas aboard today as well, joining me for this little trip. Yeah, looking forward to it, something a bit different. Yeah, we haven't really got a plan. Uh, well, that's the plan, we haven't got a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Try to catch some fish, there's a plan. Yeah, that's the one. So, a double hook up there. Um, this one's a nice little perch. Only very, very small, ever so dark. And uh, it's just taken that little uh, drop shot lure straight down. Douglas was also into a fish. What was yours? Perch. Oh, nice perch, a better perch, much better perch. Yeah, nice little perch. They're getting bigger, that's yeah, the main thing. <laughs> <laughs> On the drop shot. Put a bend in the rod. Yeah, nice one. Oh, that's good. Okay, and I'm in as well. A little bit more of a bend in the rod. Nice yeah, look at him, puts, puts his little spines up. You tend to hit it when it stops, it's weird. Yeah. With them flapping their tails about and all that. Yeah. You know, just... So I can just feel it tensing up, ready to, ready to jump, but uh, getting a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. That one was caught on one of these, whatever it is but just a slightly larger lure. Yeah, what you could do is, uh, you know, with your drop shot and set up, is you could pile a knot on a tiny little swivel and then, then you can interchange different, you know, yeah. rigs with different size hooks, or different size lures. Because like I said, I mean, I've got a little swivel on mine because you're not casting a great distance. I mean, you can even do, I guess, a loop to loop like you're doing fly fishing, can you, with your leader? Yeah, oh, I yeah, could. A bit more of a bend in the rod on this one. Just unhooked himself that one. Nice one. Getting better all the time. They're all very dark, very dark colours as well. <laughs> The last couple of fish have been in a, directly under the boat in about seven and a half meters. I certainly like this larger lure, whatever it's called. Yeah, another nice one, this one. Just on that nice green lure. Perfect fish again. Loving this. Yeah, just directly below the boat. Just um Gently lifting it up and down a little bit, mm -hmm. just raising it off the bottom, maybe about a foot. Just enough to uh, get a bit of movement in that lure, and then you, you get more of a take, I think. When it moves a little bit. Yeah, it's a really great method of fishing. You can just feel the lure, just bouncing it about a foot off the bottom. Fish are getting a better size as well. Oh, we've got some action here. That's a jack. I think we've got a jack bike on. Nicely hooked, corner of the mouth. Yeah. Yeah, a little jack. Oh, got a fish? Yeah, got a fish on. Quite a nice one, actually. Oh, yeah. oh. I suspect I might lose this, though I'm faffing around. I've seen some rigs with a section of power gum at the bottom. Yeah. So that all you're doing is sort of moving the bait rather than the right. weight. Right. 
I love this first thing in the morning when there's nobody else around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can barely hear anything. No, yeah. no, no, no traffic. Life. No life at no all. Life yeah. Except the wildlife. Yeah, just these birds twittering away there. Whenever you see these fish rise out there, I just think, I'm sure that's trout. Mm. No, rather than a rise, it's more of a sort of sprockle. It's like. A sprockle. A sprockle, yeah, messing about sort of thing. Right, okay. You know, rather than a rising yeah. fish. Yeah. I'm having a laugh. <laughs> yeah. It's not a proper jump, is it? No, it's just no. A, a flap about at the surface. Yeah. A frockle. A frockle. <laughs> or s sprockle. A sprockle. Sprockle. Right. Sprockling. I've learnt a new word. <laughs> Sprockling. <laughs> Oh, that's a big cuppy. Oh, where's he going? Come on in. Yes. <laughs> that is, that's a lovely one. I am super pleased with that. Look at that one. Nice. Let's get him back. move in a minute. We're in uh, about 1.1 meters of water. I think the bigger ones are probably more solitary but Lovely job, thank you. Another cracker, absolute brilliant. Look at that one. <laughs> Perfect. Now that one's taken in quite shallow water. We've got about a metre of water underneath the boat. And um, I took that one on a worm. Drop shot worm, perfect. Super pleased with that. Let's let this one go. I'll give you a thump and then go. So we're out on the boat, the sun's out, the wind has died down, we're getting some good fish, great company, having a good bladder, perfect, absolutely perfect. <laughs> so this little island is in fact a, a cranog, which is just man-made from stone. So what's a cranog, you might be asking? Well, they used to build these structures in the old days, would build a wooden hut on it and uh, it was uh, a homestead and it was just far enough from the shore uh, to repel invaders so to speak they used to have a, a causeway it was just underneath the water in a zigzag so if you knew where you were walking you'd be able to get out to the little cranog but if you're an invader and didn't know where you were going you'd probably end up in deep water and that gives them a time to sort things out so that's what a cranog is This is what fishing's about. We've got a drogue out just to slow the drift down a little bit, but it's hardly necessary. The wind's just dropped and it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, that's why we live up here. It's brilliant. Look at it. So we're just heading back up towards the first mark where we got those nice perch. Um, I've got a, a lure out there just to see if we can pick up anything on the way. Might as well make the most of the journey back up to the other mark. So we're just pottering along at about 1.6 knots. And uh, the lure's quite a distance out the back. It's a little diving lure. One of those today has had a, a pike, although we didn't get it to the boat. But it left its teeth mark on the lure, so I know it was a pike. <laughs> what a wonderful day it turned out to be. Love it. Having a great time. 
just can't beat a day like this. Out with your mates, just catching some fish. Yeah, it's really good. Douglas has been doing well on his uh, drop shot. He's been using a worm. He's had some good fish as well. So, it's going well. Three points eight. Already started to pick a few marks up, a few things up on the sand base. So I think that it uh, feels good for this area. Been barely a cloud on that hill opposite yeah. all day. It's been absolutely stunning. Been a fantastic day out. Got another nibble. Yeah, fish on. Oh, nice one. It's putting a bend in. Oh, look at that bend in that rod. That's nice. It's taking a bit of line as well. You want a net while you're I think. We might be able to just hand him. Just hand him. Oh. oh, I'm in as well. Oh well, at least you saw it. <laughs> I probably should have netted it. Into some nice fish here. Well, add another take then. Is he going to come back for it? It's a real rattle of a bite when they go for it. So they haven't all been huge ones at all. Got a really small one there. Cheeky little beggar, took quite a big worm. <laughs> Back you go, grow bigger. So the gear I've been using today is um, a Shimano FX rod. It's uh, an XT180, uh, which is a, a six foot. And it's uh, a three to 15 gram casting weight. And that's matched up with this Shimano um, FX1000 little reel, a bit of braid on it, and then the drop shot put back over there. I think I bought this as a combo, I'm not sure, but uh, it's quite a nice little setup for, for doing the drop shot, and it's been good fun today to be using that. I think we'll net this one because I lost the last one, tried to be clever. Oh, he's gone again. He's gone again. Oh, that's a cracker. That's a cracker. Is he a cracker? Yeah. Oh, nice one. Oh, beauty. Look at that beaut. Nice one. That is a beauty. Is he going to be compliant? I think that's probably a PB. I think it's probably the best. Straight shut up. <laughs> Look at me without a light jacket on. Oh my god. You done hooked oh, itself yeah. in the net as well. You put your jumper on, didn't you? Yeah, I just put my jumper on and I thought I'll dangle a line over and the next thing it's off. Nice fish. I think I might be in a mess that. Nice chunk then. That one was on uh, a little spotted mullet lure. So we've been out about uh, 12 hours and we've had an absolutely cracking uh, day, haven't we? It's been brilliant today. It really has, hasn't it? Just catching some fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you got that little jack pike and you've had some really nice uh, perch. Yeah, had a load of perch, probably had a PB perch. Uh, two actually bit my PB today, Yeah, uh, which is just over the pound mark. So yeah, really happy with that. I think and both of us have had good perch, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. It's been really good. Uh, came on the drop shot with a worm. Yeah. Uh, 
And yeah, you had a couple of crackers. You had a good job. You've had three crackers. Three crackers. Really, really good fish. So I hope they come out on the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Hope yeah. So. <laughs> this is when uh, Scotland's at its best. Just look at the scenery behind us, and the lock has just calmed off. Uh, it's about seven o'clock in the evening. We're in September, and it's just absolutely perfect. It's absolutely glorious, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Still got the t-shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the Scottish guy has. I haven't. I'm warm. Needed a bit more uh, of my hoodie on. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we'll probably fish on for a bit, but uh, I think that's we've probably got plenty of action for you there. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed coming along with us today and uh, enjoyed it as much as we have. It's been just absolutely great to be out with me mates and, uh, and doing a load of fishing. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah. Hopefully the next time. Yeah, we'll be out again on Loch Gore, seeing what else we can actually get. Okay, so tight lines from me. No, a tail wag from me. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. See you later, guys.